Hi there, Virgo, Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is your October 2020 Love Monthly Forecast Reading with me, Chrissy, from In The Stars by Chrissy.com, or as some of you may know as Heart Divine. So if you're new to my channel, know that I do monthly intuitive forecast, love readings, and astrology videos. And if this is something that you're interested in, please do consider subscribing. Now... Before we begin the breathing, let's first get an, a general idea on what, you know, the feel that we are getting for the month of October 2020. Astrology-wise, we do have, you know, quite a bit of a retrograde motion that are panning up in the skies and we do have Mars retrograde in the sign of Aries and we will have this Mercury retrograde as well in the sign of Scorpio. So, you know, there is a lot of retrogression in the air. So this can be a very reflective time in most cases. But um, um, Mars retrograde has been a while for quite some time. So I am expecting and um, having this idea wherein even though we are still feeling that retrograde motion, there is a huge possibility that, you know, people might start, you know, creating actions or it could be a time wherein we might discover quite a few things that we have missed out in the past. This can also be a situation wherein, you know, our emotions are revving up, you know, wanting to explode, wanting to, to get known, you know, to the public, you know things that we are keeping inside of us i just kind of feel that you know there could be something big that can really manifest for the month of october um that um can sometimes you know uh push us to our limits you know something is sh being shaken up you know there is something that you will discover and there is also something that will make you stronger for a lot of people this is going to be you know it's going to be different for each and every person as in a very individual level as everyone will experience it um in a very unique way but i feel that this is going to be um a point in our life that you know you will see some form of progress or you know you will feel that you are actually moving forward um so there will be a lot of realizations in the air i feel so um um yeah so but before anything else let's just go in with the cars and start the reading to see what we might be experiencing feeling and what might be panning out for um a lot of you here goes out there whether you have your son moon or rising sign in virgo um, with this reading so the first card of the deck that you have over here is the four of swords now the four of swords is um for me it's very monotone energy wherein it could be a situation wherein nothing is clearly happening it could be a relationship that has gone stagnant or have lost all um passion it could be a situation that you have lost something you have lose out on something it can be a form of rejection or a, it's quite of a negative energy it's not really a, a very positive element it could be a point wherein you are being very reflective in your life in your your relationship this can be an energy of singlehood all at the same time as well so it's going to be different for um, each and every perspective depending on what you are dealing with at this time but for now i'm going to um, see this as a form of stagnancy as a very safe uh, thing to do so it could be that you know nothing is clearly happening in your relationship in your love life maybe you are unable to find a specific person to be with or you could be in a situation wherein you know um you might be in a situation wherein you know there's really nothing worth it in when it comes to your love life and relationships of course this is not something which all of you, you know all virgo people are going to feel of course definitely not the case so uh, it's going to be different for each one but from for this reading i'm picking up that this could be a form of negative energy wherein 
there could be no relationship. Could there could be singlehood, or there there are just problems in the relationship that you know there is no commitment of some kind that I'm picking up over here. The next card of the deck is the Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups is all about wish fulfillment. It is a very happy card, you know. It's all about um, ecstasy, you know, feeling really good about the situation. So with them all together like this, it makes me feel that maybe you are in a situation wherein, you know, it is a very lonely atmosphere and you could be in a situation wherein you are despite what you are going through right now despite what has been happening in your life you're still um trying to to give hope into a situation you're still wanting to to hope for the best you're still you know hoping and wishing for the good of uh you know the possibility of the future i would say uh that is really what it could be you know maybe in the physical and reality nothing is really happening but inside of you you're still wishing that you know things can turn in your favor all of those kinds of things we do have the strength card over here which you know really empowers you and gives you that that energy of you know fighting adversities and this could be you know a standing ground you know despite that all of the challenges and difficulty you're trying to trying to make something better it's like you know the lady taming the lion trying to to control and a situation that is um uncontrollable or a situation that usually people will just let go and give up on you're trying to to hold your ground stand your ground and overcome and i would say um being more overpowering the situation or at the very least you're being patient with what you are dealing with at this time with the devil card over here i would say that maybe you have experienced something not so nice or it could be a bondage of something or it could be you know unhealthy habits or something like that the devil cards whenever it shows up there is a form of you know wanting to achieve something regardless of the morality with that you know I would say that this can represent your past as well, you know, things that you have already experienced. Maybe there was an offer or temptation of some kind being offered to you. Um, and I don't know what decisions that you have with that. But with the four of pentacles over here, you know, there I, I kind of feel that, you know, um, despite... I would say that this could be could represent what you really really want to hold dear what you really really want to achieve you know you are at the point of your life where in you know you don't want to think too much on what is the right thing to do you just want to achieve something there is something that you want to have you want to feel um no matter what happens, you know, there is some form of uh, what you want to hold on, you know, you want to have it. There is a goal that you have in mind, I would say. And maybe for the longest time, you have not been doing anything about it. Maybe you're just letting time, you know, move past you. And, you know, that's how you have been dealing with this your life all all life long and that could be you know getting the better of you or you could you know have i kind of feel that this can have a personal um situation wherein your security is at a threat you know being threatened or something it's not meant to i'm not saying this in a very negative way it's just that you know maybe you feel that you need to act because if you don't take action um there could be consequences you know there could be an innate feeling that you are going to feel with that this can also be a situation you know that something powerful can really you know happen or manifest within the month of october which is an open possibility for um 
a lot of Virgo people, especially since you know we have the Devil card over here, the Death card over here, and the Strength card. We do have a lot of Major Arcana over here. We do have the Empress card. So this can be a very powerful and transformational month for many many Virgos out there. I just kind of feel that there is a possibility that they are going to experience something big this time around and it could be in a very positive way and it could be in a way wherein they are forced to take action you know it's something that maybe you're not comfortable in doing but you end up doing them um anyway you know and hopefully that this is going to lead in a very positive manner you know it's just that it's not going to happen in uh in your own comfort zone i feel because whatever happens to you this month it comes in a very in a very surprising manner and i feel that it is whatever it is it is necessary to to your own situation and it's a necessary thing to experience for you because it eventually will lead you to the right path in life now we have here the empress card which is you know all about um i would say fertility you know this can represent you this can you know represents your desires to um i would say the empress card is very much a venus energy so it can represent your desire in life and growth as a whole you know how pro how much progress you want to to attain and experience i kind of feel that you are in a point of your life wherein you know all you want is to progress to your um maybe in your love life and relationship it could also be in your business even you know, there is something that you are paying attention to and showering your love. And it could be love within yourself as well. Now, we go here to the page of wands. And this could be a form of idea that comes to you. It could also be a message of some kind. I would say that, you know, all pages are all about messengers. So it could be that, you know, you might discover quite a few things that shake up your um day-to-day -day life i would say and with here we do have the seven of wands so it's very interesting to have this combination because it's an energy wherein you know um this is a card wherein you attain success by standing your ground by overcoming adversities you know this is not just a point wherein you wish for something and something is given to you you actually need to make effort consistent effort and you know a whole lot of effort i would say and this is about you you know not just letting things go this is about you not giving up on life on on your own situation and with the page of wands here we can say that you know communication could be vital you know communications ideas and sharing information can be vital during this time as well with the death card over here it could be a situation that you know something needs to end it could be you know the death card always has a lot to do with endings and beginnings of all sorts so i would say that it could be a point of ending and a point of beginning of some kind something needs to change something needs to get a fresh start you know something needs to get restarted it might have to do with um your own form of uh, I would say whatever attachment that you have it could be physical attachment it could be habits that you have in the past that are unhealthy that that are not good for a relationship since this is a love reading I would say that you know this could be a situation wherein you are dealing with a relationship but there's a lot of negativity to it not really negativity but more of unhealthy habits that are not really morally correct in to be in a relationship but you are you know allowing them so there are just quite a few things that needs to get a stop in something needs to stop something needs to 
to change, you know, if you want a relationship that is really more on the serious end, more committed and all of that. It's it's just not all about the physical <laughs> connections and and all of that. So um yeah, there the so I would say that, you know, with these seven pentacles over here, um it could be a time of waiting. It could be a time of frustration as well, you know, trying to I would say that this is a situation wherein you're you're being questioned by life or by the universe, I would say, to what is the foundation of your own relationship, you know? Consistently doing something in a relationship, you know, whatever it is that you are consistently doing, is it really worth it, you know? I kind of feel that this is really the the bottom line of the message here. If you have been, you know, giving in to to temptations and a lot of unhealthy habits in the relationship, yet you are wanting to have a more, you know, a committed and very serious relationship, is that really going to lead to the same end of the stick? So it has a lot of questions right there. I would say that um, this could be a situation wherein, you know, you are being questioned, where have you been putting the efforts uh, with how you deal with your, your own relationships and love life? Or have you even been uh, taking actions, you know, in having a relationship with someone or not? So there could be a lot of things that can be unlocked and unblocked to you during this time and it can be very spiritual in nature it can be very psychological even especially since we do have a lot of dark elements over here so uh, usually i would say that it you know there could be something very spiritual going on here it can have a lot to do with karmic connections karmic endeavors as well that you know may take a bit of time whenever the seven of pentacles shows up it is really a time of waiting or it's just telling you that maybe now is not the best time to 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 go with whatever um, achievements and goals in life that you have you know you might not really um, have the chance to fulfill them in a very positive way there is also a possibility that you know you might be frustrated there could be some form of frustrations that you are going to be experiencing in some form of mishaps they're not really meant for you to get down and bogged down and feel dejected in life but this is really more of a needed process that you need to experience um so that you know there could be some form of personal growth that comes with it and you will be able to learn how to navigate that energy one way or another in the future i would say so um, I kind of feel that with the activation of the third house here and the Capricorn energy along with um, Rahu um, in my astro dice, you know, there could be something that has a lot to do with progression, communication of some kind. Some form of information that comes to you right now will have some form of importance. So if you feel that nothing is really happening in your life you will come into a conclusion that something might just occur for you um for the month of october and how you handle that energy is going to be different for each one now let's see what's going on with the lenormand for our confirmation message for the month of October 2020. Now you're having this uh, snake and fox. So snake and fox is not really the best combination. In fact, it, it actually spells a lot of trouble, I would say. You know, the snake is all about, you know, being sneaky and all of that. And the fox is all about, you know, manipulation of some sort. So you might be dealing with a complicated situation, a complicated issue, a problematic situation or a relationship of some kind um, can be blocking you or ha causing you problems at this time. So we do have the key card here, you know, which is all about answers, you know, answers and um, destiny and miracles and all of that, you know, it gives you... Uh, it gives you that key to unlock things. We do have the moon and the clover card here, which is an open 
possibility to to maybe resolve any problems that you have at this time but um, I would say that still because of the fox and the mir the mirroring um, energy we're in we have the fox here and the moon and then the snake and the clover card here it's still it's still a very tricky energy i would say it's like you know yes you are encountering problems there could be a tricky situation that you're dealing with right now it could be in a relationship business or whatever kind of situation that you're in however um, even though that you feel that there are answers to that, even though that you feel that you can overcome that, it, it's telling us that it's, it's, you know, there are just quite a few, you know, there are still loose ends into this. And we're not seeing the clear picture just yet, you know, there's a lot of confusion into that. So I feel that, you know, you need to take it slow. There could be conflicts in the air that might occur. Um, but I kind of feel that you need to pay attention where you are giving your energy, you know, where you are giving your energy and, you know, the balance of the give and take in the relationship needs to be um, paid attention. I would also say that, you know, um, outer circumstances that might um, intervene with your own situation is definitely can occur during this time i would say that if there are any secrets of of any kind of or anything that you don't want other people to to know um, make sure that you are really you know maybe not sharing that information or um maybe um this is a time we're in you know you need to guard yourself with any gossips or other people that might betray you of, of any kind i'm not saying that we are seeing that it's just that you know there are a lot of things that can throw us off guard, you know, especially for you uh, Virgo people out there. So, um, yeah, I would say that um, be guarding, guard your the information that you hold, guard ev your own secrets as that could be actually leaked out and you know it might lead to some form of trouble later on this is going to be you know a good time though to you know face your own fears and face all of the uh, problems that you have in you you know i would say that this is a time for you to acknowledge your own weakness and acknowledge your own fears and overcome them in the way that you know uh, you're comfortable with you know this is a time for you not to run away with things but to actually face things and try to overcome the situation in the best way that you can without relying to other people or anyone else because this time i feel that you are going to be ready and you know so that you know it's not about other people telling you to move on and move forward it's not about other people telling you what is the right answer into things it's it is about you finding your own answer and really you know um getting confident with the answers that you you get um during this time so there's going to be a lot of information that comes to you right now and Whatever it is, it's going to give a pathway to what might occur for you in the near future. So I would say that this is also a very manifesting time. So um, yeah, um, this is my reading for you guys, um, Virgo people out there. If you do like this video, please do like, share, and subscribe. If you want a more personal reading just like this one, detailed and specifically done for you, you can do that by booking a session with me through my website in starsbychrissy.com and I shall see you guys again next month.